Millstone Grit and the buildings on the hillside gives flavour to a true Yorkshire setting as we bring the match of the day cameras to a textile town and to Leeds Road, Huddersfield, a ground full of football folklore. And if the town have experienced more lows than highs in recent years, one man is now pushing them back in the right direction. And he's Mick Buxton, who took over as Huddersfield's manager when they were 87th in the Football League, led them to the fourth division championship last season and could now win promotion for the second year running. His team is unchanged today and it's made up of honest players who've mostly spent their career in the lower divisions. The only star name is Steve Kinden, who is currently only the substitute, while the goalkeeper Neil Freeman is due to return to Birmingham City after this match following his loan period here. Chester have one or two names you may recognise. Number four, Trevor Stoughton, played for Liverpool in the first division. And number nine, Keith Fear was at Bristol City. But the most familiar figure there is number six, Alan Oakes, the player manager who won so many honours with Manchester City. And this afternoon plays the 744th league match of a career which began in 1959. Robinson, Cowling, looks for Austin. Robinson continues his run, what a good one it was. Robbins is in the centre and so is Stanton and marked on the far and it's behind by Ludlam for the corner. Good defending, cut on the back of his goalkeeper for Stevie Ludlam. Good break by Fred Robinson down the left for Huddersfield. Robbins and Stanton both in the centre but the foul on Ludlam as he cleared the ball meant that it was a free kick in the end to Chester anyway. It was slightly miscued by Hanvey so here's Jones for Chester. Howling away from Needham, he's found Robbins. And Huddersfield getting people forward again here with Lillis. Stanton on the right, Malcolm Brown, the fullback, is coming outside him. And Austin arrived, oh, and Lillis! Lillis put the ball right into the goalkeeper's arms. It could have gone anywhere. Well, Millington will feel relieved. Goalkeepers do make their own luck, but it was a good run by Huddersfield's Brown on the right overlapping yet again, played it in hard and when it ricocheted off the first player in there Lillis it was who had the last attempt Jones takes oh a good header against the bar by Birch and hooked in by Cotton and the unlucky player was number 10 Trevor Birch but it was a good free kick by Brindley Jones he put it in early and it was a header by Trevor Birch that came back off the bar Robinson Oh. He got it back, though, did Robinson, and he's on his way again here with a chance. And Fred Robinson, who's had a very good first half, was unlucky there. Robbins going short. Austin coming off the near post. Header by Cotton. Robbins. Lillis. Oh, and Millington going to his right. Lillis getting the header in there. Millington just dropping on it without a great deal of time to spare. Brown again. Robbins. Robbins turn. And it's still there. And now it's Robinson. Good ball. Lillis. Austin is hovering far post. Coming to the near now. Couldn't reach that, but Stanton might. And he did. And Austin has charged the goalkeeper in an attempt to knock him over the line with the ball. That happened when Billington caught Stanton's very sharp hook shot. Terry Austin tried the old-fashioned charge to knock the goalkeeper over with the ball and he's got booked for it. Cotton could put them in trouble, and Sutton's in there, and it wouldn't go in, and Robbins has got it now. Well, what an unbelievable scramble. A back header by John Cotton that must have put his heart in his mouth, he thought it was going to be an own goal. It came back, and then Dave Sutton had that shot, and somehow Chester, back there in numbers, kept the ball out their net. Kennedy to Kinden. Good ball, Robbins, side netting. Well, the substitute makes an immediate impact. 
Kingdon picking the ball up from the throw-in. Left foot cross to the far post, one of the best crosses that Huddersfield have put over. And it's his first, and Robbins heads into the side netting. Kingdon. Lillis. Cowling. And still Cowling. And Millington pushed it up and stalked and volleyed away. Kennedy. Stanton. Missed kick. Total kick. Missed kick. Well, the goalkeeper there on the cross from Cowling didn't seem entirely happy. He could only push the ball up. But Stoughton, who I think is a candidate for man of the match this afternoon, got the ball away again. Taken by Kennedy. Ball are in each other's way there, the two centre-backs, but they got the ball out. That's Lillis. This is Fred Robinson. Chester are coming out looking for an offside. And they might make an attack out of it. It's Jones on the chase. And he could beat Robinson here for speed. And he's got support from Ludlam and from Birch. And Robinson's in trouble. And what a mix-up. Do you know there were three Chester players there waiting to put that in? Huddersfield were an awful mess. The linesman, fortunately for them, spotted something right at the last. But initially, they were hopelessly outnumbered. There was an offside decision, actually, against one of the spare players there. And there it is. A valuable home point drop by Huddersfield Town in their promotion bid. Alan Oak shakes the referee's hand. His Chester team will be pleased with that performance. Although they relied on Millington for one great save towards the end from Lillis, it was a disciplined performance by Chester who took the sting out of Huddersfield and the home side just couldn't get the final touch. They played a lot better than that and on the day the final score is Huddersfield nil, Chester nil.